Located off the coast of Maharashtra, India, stands the magnificent Janjira Fort, an architectural marvel that has withstood the test of time. Ruled by the city kings for over 500 years, the fort was attacked by the British, French, Portuguese, and Marathas, but none succeeded. What makes this magnificent fort unconquerable that even British were not able to occupy it during their century-long colonization of India? And how were the cities and the people able to survive inside the fort during months of sieges? Let's find out! Before we dive into the video, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated with our latest videos. If you look at the style of the construction of the fort, it's a totally ingenious construction with the walls stretching up to the edges. The entry gate not at all visible from distance, and even after the gate is visible, it is very difficult to deboard from a boat considering you do not have any landing place. You have to step down directly on the steps of the gate. Now after that, the fort's architecture was designed with meticulous detail to enhance its defensive capabilities. The outer walls of Janjira Fort were reinforced with massive stones, rendering them impervious to cannon fire. The fort boasted numerous bastions and strategically placed cannons, allowing defenders to fend off attackers from multiple angles. Moreover, the people stepping outside the fort were issued a coin bearing a symbol by the soldiers at the gate. On return, the same coin was checked as a gate pass, and people were let to re-enter the fort. If anyone would lose or misplace the coin, they were killed right away. The fort is located on the busy maritime trade route connecting Broach, Daman, Diu, and Mangalore. This fort commanded the naval traffic of the trading routes connecting Africa, Persia, and Europe with the Indian subcontinent. The cities who controlled the fort were renowned seafarers and had a formidable navy. This naval dominance allowed them to effectively cut off supply lines and reinforcements for any potential attackers, further strengthening the fort's defense. It is said that the Sidis were a source of terror even to the British, who had to pay a certain amount of tax to the former for safe passage. The combination of its strategic location, robust architecture, and intricate defense mechanisms made Janjira Fort virtually impregnable, earning its reputation as an unconquerable fortress in Indian history, but one question still remains. How did people survive inside the fort during months of sieges? How did people get food and fresh water in the middle of Arabian Sea? Well, Despite being circled by the Arabian Sea, the Janjira Fort had its own freshwater well, ensuring a constant water supply during sieges. It also housed granaries and storage facilities, enabling defenders to withstand prolonged sieges without external assistance. In 20th century, 550 families used to reside in the fort. After independence from the British Empire in 1947, the fort was officially handed over to the Indian government by the ruler of the island and moved to his palace on the mainland. After the ruler left, fort residents faced difficulties and started moving out to the nearby villages. Fascinatingly, many cities continued to stay within the Janjira fortress until the Archaeological Survey of India evicted them in 1972. The current family of the royal heir still lives, the king's name is Sidi Shah Mahmud, who lives in central India's Indore city and has a big palace in Marud. Legend has it that there occurred many hindrances in the process of completion of the fort. It is believed that to overcome these obstacles, the then reigning Sidi ruler sacrificed his 22-year-old son. The Siddhis were originally from Abyssinia, and a majority of them were brought to the Indian subcontinent as slaves, bodyguards and soldiers during the time of the Delhi Sultanate. However, by virtue of their valor and hard work, they rose to significant positions of responsibility and eventually became the masters of Janjira. Malik Amber, who became the commander-in-chief of the Nizam Shah of Ahmadnagar, belonged to this community. 
the Janjira Fort remained invincible throughout its career of three and a half centuries. It is undoubtedly an embodiment of the valor, courage, and heroism of the Sidis.